Hey everybody, Wendy Devereaux here. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is dedicated to my sister, Karen. Um, she had asked me, oh, quite some time ago, she sent me a video of someone doing this gorgeous stained glass piece. And I, I said, Karen, you need hands of a surgeon to be able to do that. And I'm no surgeon. So I was thinking of a way to do some sort of a canvas painting with all kinds of glitter and crushed glass so that it kind of looked like a stained glass. And you know what? I think I did a pretty good job on it for my first go. So if you guys would like to see how I made this, then please keep watching. Okay, you guys, so for today's DIY, um, we are going to be using quite a few glitters because I uh, do want this to mimic a stained glass and I will point them out as I'm going through um, the video as well but we're going to be using Peacock Extra Fine Glitter by Recollections we're going to be using a Fine Silver Recollections just a dollar store, uh, it's a medium chunky glitter, I would say. And then my absolute favorite, it's the silver. Um, little triangles, recollections. And this is a new one, it's, um, it's teal, teal triangles. It's really pretty. For some reason, well, there we go. Maybe I'm getting a little too close. And then these two, there's a pink and another teal color from Michael's. It's, uh, I find them in the teacher section. And then I'm doing the clear crush glass, my Tri-Art liquid glass. And for the paints, I'm using ice blue metallic folk art. Apple Barrel Caribbean. And this one is Island Blue Craft Smart. And today I'm going to be using, I had a really good idea, um, and I'm hoping that it is going to work out. This is Elmer's Glitter Glue. And I'm going to use this to outline my pattern. I'm going to be using brushes and, and foam brushes and such. And I'm going to be sealing my paint with uh, matte Mod Podge today. And I'm going to be using a 24 inch by 18 inch canvas. So yeah, you guys, let's get started. I'm just going to spritz a little water on my canvas. Just water. And we're going to use uh, Caribbean by Apple Barrel. And some Island Blue by Craft Smart. And some Ice Blue by Folk Art. I'm just going to go every other one uh, with this. And I'm using, I think this is about a three inch flat brush, you guys. I've already wet my bristles. So we are going to do, uh, for this technique, we're going to do a soft blend. I, I don't know if that's the name of it or what they call it, but it's not like my other um, paintings where... Um, 
you can see the, the lines in them. I want this more of a soft, a soft blend. And like I always say, you guys, um, I use the inexpensive canvases that I can pick up at Michael's uh, for the purposes of the videos. But if I were hanging these on my wall or doing them to sell, I would be um, using a good quality canvas. I'm going to have one heck of a yard sale this year. <laughs> That. Okay, so what once my paint is dry, um, I'm going to go ahead and put a thin layer of matte Mod Podge over the whole thing. I will let that dry and then I will bring you back and we will mark out the way that I want this stained glass canvas to look. Okay, you guys, so our canvas is all dry. And now the first thing that you wanna do is outline the frame. I'm just going the width of my ruler just to make it easy on myself. Go all the way down so that you have a square. Okay, and then your corners should look kind of like, like this, right? Like a stained glass. Then the next thing that you wanna do, guys, is get your center point. So we're working with a 24 by 18 inch canvas. So we know that Middle is at the one foot mark. And the nine. Ooh, look at that. Okay, perfect. That's your center point. And this is the image that I want to create. And you can see uh, it's Sherry Smith. This is a beautiful, beautiful stained glass piece, and I want to try and recreate that um, on canvas with glitter and crushed glass. Now, I have a really, really big um, round uh, 
canvas here. So what I'm finding here, you guys, is my corner point over here and my center. And then I am going to, and I'll give you a, a look here in a second, what I'm talking about. So I started over here on this point, the corners, right? That's where we're going to be going. I'm going to do that all the way around. And it doesn't matter, you guys. Um, it's whatever your design is, right? Okay. Then what you want to do is, there's my center point. And my center point here. Just get that on there. And then I'm going to join them like so. Just double check. Okay, now we want to, um, of course, make a little bit of a frame for our petals here. So I'm going to start here in the corner and I'm going to measure. It would be easier if I had a, a ruler that was uh, 13 inches. <laughs> and I'm going to get it so that it, I'm going to go with. Um, I think I'm going to go with an inch and a half. And about. Inch and a half. Then I'm going to find my two little spots. And I'm going to just connect those, just like from here to here, right? I'll show you on this, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Um, so I'm joining here and here, and then that'll There, and then, then you have a border around your flower. There. And if you like this design, you guys, um, you, you can use a huge pizza pan, um, you know, anything round, or you can use those, and I don't know what the name of them are, you know, you they got a pokey thing and you can do circles and stuff. You can also use one of those. And I've seen them at the dollar store. I should really pick myself one up. Okay, and now I want to make that basket weave look in the middle. I've just got a, a dollar store mirror here, you guys. And I'm going to, I'm just going to eyeball approximately where I want this one and I'm just going to in fact I think I'm going to I know what I need to do here but I'm just going to go to this point and stop then I'm going to go over there then I'm going to go to this point and stop and then go all the way down to the corner. It's every other one. I'm gonna go to that one and stop. That one and stop. Start here again and go up. Perfect. Okay. 
Now, it's every, so I've stopped here, then I'm going here, and I'll show you why in a minute. Oops, I didn't do that right. And now what you need to do, because we need to make a, um, a border, right? So I'm going to go up an inch and a half, like I did for the other. I'm going to go, just want to make sure that those two points connect. I'm going to go up an inch and a half. inch and a half and an inch and a half okay and then I'm just going to take my ruler and I'm going to go I'm going to stop here start here oops There, now I need to erase some of these lines here. So a long one, along here, goes under, goes over, under, over, under, over, under, over. Okay. <laughs> Just like a weave. Okay, you guys, so our design is done, and now what we want to do is outline our design. And I picked up this Elmer's glue. It's a silver glitter glue. So I'm just going to start in the corner here. Okay guys, so I've outlined uh, my design and now I'm just going to um, add some silver glitter and then it'll make the glue really, really shiny. Okay, I think I've got all of it. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to let the glue dry and then um, we'll, I'll brush it off and then I'll come back. Okay, you guys, so um, I didn't wait until this was completely dry. I, uh, so there's still a little bit of glitter on there, but that's okay. I didn't want to brush it off and I'm just going to keep going here. And I'm going to adhere all of my glitters and crushed glass with the Tri Art Liquid Glass. And I'm going to put it in a little cup 
and I'm going to paint it on. Now the first one that I want to do, I'm going to put crushed glass along the, um, the diamond here. So I'm just maybe for this, I'll just pour it like that. And I think that's going to be okay because um, the uh, glue has made somewhat of a barrier, which is what I wanted. I want this on um, fairly thick because I want all of these all of these little areas um, completely covered. I'm hoping that none of the paint, well, I mean, if, if the paint, some of the paint shows through, that's fine, but I'd really like it really thick. For this part, I'm going to be using the uh, clear Ashland brand decorative filler, the crushed glass. And I do want to put a little bit of uh, the recollections. This is, um, what is this one? This one's the Peacock Extra Fine Glitter and Recollections Extra Fine Silver. And I want to mix that up with my uh, crush glass. So the best way to do this so you're not having to wait for each section is just create a barrier with a piece of paper. I just want a little bit here. Now, I want to try and get this um, okay, this one I'm definitely gonna have to do a little barrier here. Um, do it like that. Like that. I just don't want this um, crushed glass to fly all over. Otherwise, I'm going to have to clean it up before I um, before I'm able to get on to any others. Now, I want to add some more of the peacock. Okay, I need to get rid of the crushed glass because right now I'm going to be using or I mean I'm going to be going do the I'm going to be doing these now, okay? And I'm going to be doing that in a mixture of um, kind of like a fuchsia pink and a peacock. Uh, it's Creatology Glitter 
for Michaels. Um, it's in the teacher section. There's no color on it. it uh, it's kind of like a fuchsia pink almost. This one I think I want to try to protect as much as possible because um, okay, that I'm going to leave in paint. Then that's the same brand, more of a, a peacock color. This I'm okay if it goes over the edge a little bit because I'm going to be putting uh, more of this color in here. Might not be this exact glitter, but it's okay if it goes over there right now. Because remember, I want I want these areas pretty full of glitter. So if there's a little piece that I open. That I've missed like right here um, I want to be sure that it gets covered right okay so I finished all of those I think I'm going to put This is Teal Triangles Recollections. And I'm going to put it in the center here. So because I just want the teal, I just, I want to try and brush some of the um, pink stuff out of here. Now we're going to Oh, look at the texture. Oh, this is so pretty. in my chunky to just camouflage whatever's left. If you use the same color fine glitter that I've been using all along, you guys, like I've put it here, like on all of it, then um, you're not gonna have to be too concerned with, um, you know, going over into the other areas. Got some of this. Ooh, my favorite. Hmm. I wonder. Ooh, okay, I'm going to I think what I'm going to mix or add in with this one will be um, the silver. Yes, I'm going to add. I'm going to add some of my peacock in with this, you guys, just a little bit. I 
just so I'm not introducing a completely different uh, color. Okay, now, I haven't quite decided what I want to do. Um, my border, my frame. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it in the peacock. I'm going to use the chunkier uh, silver. So for this little operation, um, and I do want to do my uh, sides, but I will do those off camera because I'm going to have to let I'm going to have to let um, the face of this dry at least a little bit so that I can lift it up on an angle. And usually, if you watch my other videos, I always do the sides first. But the reason why I didn't do it this time was um, because I didn't know what I was going to do with it yet. I wasn't sure until I actually saw um, all of this first. And I'm going to start off, I think, with my peacock blue. And I think I'm going to need to put some fine in here just, just because. Okay, you guys, so um, this is dry enough for me to at least let the excess crushed glass and glitter fall off of it. I know I'm going to have to do some touch-ups and... Um, I just want to show you, I'm just going to do this very slowly because I don't want that's just, uh, I made those into little <laughs> into little piles. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to give that a light vacuuming. And then I'm going to do a little bit of touch up, um, like right in here. I want to straighten out this band of silver, um, the silver glue that I used, right? Might be a just see, there's just the odd spot in here that I'm going to do the same with. I just want to, um, I want to define that uh, line like you do in, the, like you see in stained glass, right? That lead line that outlines your design. And I'm going to have to touch up right here, which I'll do that as well. And other than that, you guys, I think it's, um, I think it's looking pretty good. Okay, you guys, here's the finished look. I am super pleased with the way this turned out for my first try at a stained glass dupe on canvas. 
And it really wasn't that difficult, you guys. It just, uh, it's time consuming. But anything uh, with a lot of detail in it, it is going to take some time, right? This is gorgeous. I don't know if the video is actually picking up the intense colors in this. Just give you a little closer. I love the weaving in the middle of this. Wow, this is gorgeous, you guys. I love that um, teal triangle glitter. It almost has, um, let's see if I can find a spot here for you. It almost has, um, I don't know, a greeny tinge to it, a greeny blue. It's absolutely beautiful. And there's my favorite in the middle. And I love how that um, Elmer's glitter glue worked for making um, the outline of my pattern. That actually worked out really well. Oh, you guys, I am really, really pleased with this. There's my corners. Yeah, it was a little difficult trying to maintain a straight line um, when I was outlining the frame, but I think it turned out not too bad. And I don't know, stained glass when I see it isn't exactly straight anyway, right? Oh, you guys, this is so pretty. And you know what? You can just use any pattern, right? Let me know in the comments, you guys, because if you've enjoyed this and you would like to see more like them, but in different colors and different um, designs, I have a few more in mind, uh, more abstract. This is just gorgeous. Love, love, love you guys. So yeah. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell and you will be notified when I upload all my future videos. I think you actually have to hit that bell twice maybe. And as always, you guys, I always so much appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos and God bless.